Elle had found it, the last journal of Joseph Caldwell, the one that documented the reasoning behind everything, how he was able to make a cure so easily from such basic supplies, how he seemingly had prior knowledge of the pathogen itself, why Nexus had sent repeated trips over and over and over again. It made sense now. Nexus was behind it all, from the start. From what Elle had read, it was clear that Joseph was employed by Nexus to try and make this zombie pathogen. Whether for a weapon or what, did it really matter anymore? Between Nexus and Joseph, they had made it. They had created the apocalypse. And while Nexus went underground and disappeared, Joseph spent the remainder of his days trying to make a cure. She realised this was the reason why Nexus had sent her in the first place. Why they'd seemingly sent one after another, rather than a group. If they sent an inexperienced squad, they probably could have found Joseph's flat fairly quickly, ripped it out top to bottom, taken the notes and gone. So why didn't they? Why did they send one after another, seemingly to die? It was clear that they couldn't risk it. They couldn't risk this information getting out. If they sent in a squad and one of them read it, there was a higher chance that one of them would spread the news back to Nexus. That the civilians would find out. That the lie the Nexus had made that the society they had fabricated was all based on lies, deception, and chaos. Nexus couldn't risk that, so instead they must have sent individuals not well known within society. Elle knew she wasn't the most sociable, she wasn't the most out there person. If she disappeared, who would kick up a fuss? Her husband probably would, even then it's not hard to silence one person. Her daughter was still too young to really understand what was going on, and even still, she wasn't allowed to disclose her location to her husband before she left. She simply told him she was going away on a long mission. If he knew that she was in Raven's Creek, he might be able to piece the puzzle pieces together, but without that key information, it was hopeless. He would assume she was lost on this expedition. One individual was easy to manipulate, was easy to silence. It was a suicide mission. They sent them in to find the information, to give it to them so they could destroy it, for good. The one and only copy and then their secret would die with them. It was a lot to take in. Elle wasn't even sure how to talk to her family. How could she? She knew they were likely in mortal danger. If Nexus found out that she'd found this hidden notebook, it was all over. They knew that she'd found his flat. They knew she'd gone through journals, but they also didn't know that she'd found this new journal. They wouldn't risk doing anything yet until she'd found their prize. She needed to come up with a plan, a plan of getting out of here. She would need to lie deceive, and hopefully, maybe, just maybe, she'll be able to escape Raven Creek in one piece. Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. So, we are here, we are back with L. I have spent too much time <laughs> doing up the base since last episode. I have basically gutted this place. It probably doesn't look like it, but I have gutted it. There is nothing in any of these containers. Nothing at all. I, it's still not quite complete because I would like to get cooking supplies and non-perishable foods and things in there. But for the time being, most of that stuff is in here. And let's go show you what I've done downstairs. So, as I said, I've spent about collectively two odd hours in real life sorting this out. It's still not quite complete. We didn't have enough storage containers to store it all. So, really, one more set would have done. So, I've had to put the rest in these cardboard boxes. And, of course, the uh, the trolley. But, it's good. We've got all our tools and basic supplies in here. We've got all our electricals in these two... Oh, well, in these two shelves here. We've got tailoring and crafting in here. We've got survival stuff and miscellaneous in here. Including all the poo, of course. Uh, we've got all our medical, obviously, next to all the poo. <laughs> <laughs> We've got clothing and jewellery and bags here. Uh, all the spare books until I make another bookshelf. We've got mining and containers and we've got metalworking. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. It's uh, a lot of stuff. We're doing, doing well. Uh, this episode, I think what we need to do is we need to unwind. We've gone through a lot the last few days. We've got all our, uh, all our stuff on us. We've got ambiguous frog, radioactive duck, private lime juice. They're going to come on a little trip with us. We are going to, first of all, finally fix up one of the sports cars because we've got them all out there. We've had them out for a while. We've had the ability to fix them up for a few episodes now. And I think it's about time we actually get ourselves a nice car. And the other thing I need to do 
is I need to plumb in the washing machine slash tumble dryer. Because we've got them. Uh, we just need to basically make another rain collector, plumb it in, and we are good to go. I've also made a new escape rope here that goes up to the little storage room. Makes it a little bit easier going up there on other trips. First of all, what we're going to do is we are going to fix up one of these cars. Because I think we quite actually just go on a little drive. We obviously can't actually get out of here because we don't have any double gates. So that's one of the things we're going to need to work on is getting our carpentry up to level 6. So we can actually get this car out of here, make some double gates, and then we can get a little bit safer. Uh, once we're at level 6, at that point we can also make some stairs. We can then have little lookout towers along the wall. Make sure there's no zombies on the other side before we just jump through it. I think that is a plan. Now, out of these three cars, I think we should be able to make a decent sports car. This is a really good one, actually. It's already got a working battery, which is nice. It just needs a tyre and a couple other bits. And apart from that, it is in really good condition. So, we need a windshield, rear windshield, right window, rear right tyre. Okay. Well, I think we should be able to get everything apart from maybe the windshield looking at it. But we can find those bits. So, let's uninstall that, uninstall that. Uh... Still no muffler, but we can at least get those two. Please have a muffler in this one. No, no muffler. That's a shame. Ooh, but that's a much better tyre, so let's take off that tyre. Okay. Well, we are still lacking then a windshield and a muffler, but that's still fine. It's still very, very much drivable. And it's got a working battery. We should be able to get some gas between all of these. We've got the gas supply up there. We have a nice working car. There we go. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. The muffler, yeah, that's a massive shame. Uh, the loudness is still pretty loud, but engine quality is still pretty high. Let's hot wire this thing. Oh, and look at that. And it's got so much gas in it already. Look at this car. I mean, yes, it's a bit rusted, but even still, this is nice. I'm liking this. So a couple of you have asked, can I repaint these or remove the paint? Unfortunately, it's actually a texture rather than anything else. So... It's not actually possible to remove the rust or anything from this or paint it, which is a massive shame. It would be really nice to do, but it's just not possible. Um, I did have a look to see if it was, but it's just not. So we kind of have to cope with a very rusty sports car. But we need to find a muffler for it. We need to find a windshield for it. And we've got a very drivable car. Uh, so I think that's what we should probably do first. We'll have a look, see if we can find these bits that we need after that. We'll work on our carpentry, we'll work on our other skills. It's starting to get late into the year. I mean, it's early October. It's going to start getting colder and colder from now on. It's starting to get harder. The weather's going to get worse. It's going to be um, more challenging soon to go out and about. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice you. <laughs> um, okay, that was a little bit terrifying. got so many lighters i don't think we need them i'm pretty sure this is a sport let's quickly check oh it's a standard oh it's hard to tell where the <laughs> with all the rust on oh where's a, a sport gonna be then oh okay let's keep looking hopefully we'll find something right here we go we've got a sport it's got a muffler bad condition but it's a performance one i can fix it and it's got a windshield i will take that okay good we got them excellent Look them away if we can this bag can hold so much, it's ridiculous. <laughs> We're no longer encumbered. Excellent stuff. Let's get back to the house. We'll fix up this sports car. There is one other thing I kind of want to do. And it's... Uh, I completely forgot it was even possible. I don't know how far we can get with it. But we can dig a fish pond. <laughs> we can just dig a pond. So, it's one of the things we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to be able to complete it. Because I think to complete it, you acquire a lot of stuff. But we can at least start the process. Which I think will be quite fun. Right, here we go, here we go. Fix you up. There we go. Actually, 80% overall condition is not too bad, <laughs> considering everything else. I mean, once we get the muffler in, that should shoot up quite a lot. One of the things we do need to do, think about it though, is we should pick up these planks. And while we're back at base, I think what we should do is make a couple of bits for our farm. I don't think we've got a composter. And we also need another rain collector for our washer dryer, like I said. So I think we'll work on that. Thinking about it, I could just move one of the cabinets. Um, I'll see how it goes. So where is our 
metalness. Grab this. So repair. We need. Oh, scrap metal is technically the best. Oh no, it's not. Hang on. Uh, small metal sheets. Grab two of them then. Okay, forty-six. Kind of want that more in the eighties side of things. Fifty-six. Sixty-seven. Oh, maybe like two, three more goes. There, good look. We've got tons of scrap here. Just keep fixing it up. Okay, 80, it's not worth it. 84. That'll do. We now have, once we've installed that, a really good sports car. Let's go chuck this away. And then we will focus on sorting out our farm. Right, here we go. So, install performance muffler. Ooh, 65% chance, though. Come on. Do it first time, please. Two-thirds chance. Come on. Do it for me, L. Right, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Please. Yes. First time. 84%. Nice. Right, we're up to 83% overall condition. The engine, loudest 38. Reduced it by over half. Amazing. Actually, <laughs> it's actually a nice car. Ooh. Find a stone on the floor. Take it. What? <laughs> That comes up as foraging, does it? That's that's mental. Okay, let's stop that. Let's get back into base. We want to grab some garbage bags. We need four of them. Which we should have. Look, we've got loads. We need some nails. This is so easy to find stuff now. There we go. Lovely. And that should be all we need. Thinking about it, I could move this though. And that would save time, wouldn't it? If I just move this, because I don't think we need that now. It would look a bit better there. Base item. And that should mean we might even be able to plumb it in without having to put another rain collector down. There we go. Plumb it in. Nice. That's really cool. Right. We've got that. I mean, I'm going to make another rain collector anyway because we can't really have enough. And we need to get our carpentry up anyway, so we might as well. So where should we put one? Hmm, I think we might have to just sacrifice this here. Rain collector. There. Job done. And... Put a composter maybe back here. Yay, there we go. Nice. Right. So, we can actually wash some of our stuff. Look, it's all dirty. Filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Oh, it's all all filthy stuff, isn't it? There we go. Uh, that should be everything on. And, turn off. <laughs> Look at that. Just need to wait a couple of minutes and it will be done. We need to wash ourselves. Look at us. We are disgusting. Uh, wash ourselves. There we go. Elle's going to be spotless by the end of this. And look, there we go. Blood and dirt just fading away. It's coming to the end of the cycle. Here we go. Right. Set mode dryer. Turn on. Oh. Um, everything's still a little bit wet. There we go. <laughs> that was a bit odd. Right, put everything back on. There we go. Nice. Right. Really late. God, let's go to sleep. Oh, right, there we go. Nothing better than waking up, having a lie-in, after staying up till 2.30, doing the washing and cleaning yourself, surrounded by all your plushies. We've got so many of them now, and we've got Wilson. Oh, it's good. Super, super good. Right, so what is our carpentry looking like? Do we have carpentry level 3? Please say we've got carpentry level 3. I don't think we do. We've got no carpentry books at all. Quickly check the ones in our little place. I don't think we've got it, though. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to figure something out. I think what we should do is we should get the axe. Let's go take apart some trees. Uh, we'll bring the logs back up to the sawbuck. Saw them up. Get some XP doing that. But I'm hoping we should be able to get to level 6 before the end of the episode. Okay, that's a decent amount of logs. Let's take what we can. Bring some rope down next time and that'll make it a little bit easier. Right, here we go. Oh, that went up barely anything. Uh, soaring up eight went up like two XP a time. Not even that. <laughs> okay, what else could we do? It's either 750 logs or we make some other stuff. Either way, it's fine. Right, here we go. Here we go. We can make a Christmas tree. Yes, obviously I'm going to make a Christmas tree. We're a little bit early, but we've made a Christmas tree. Uh, what can we do with it? Decorate it. We need garlands and a gold star. How do I make garlands? Apparently it just materialized out of thin air. <laughs> Fine. Uh, well, we've got a Christmas tree. I mean, how much did our skill go up doing that? Probably nothing. Oh, no. It went up a bit. 
can just make a load of Christmas trees. Uh, how big is it? Oh, it's tiny. Well, we've got we've got a diddy little Christmas tree. Uh, two months early. <laughs> Fine. What else could we do? We can make a bunch of cage traps. That's gone up like another 20. Okay, so that's five apiece. Mm. This is going to take a lot longer than um, than I'd envisioned, to be honest, doing it this way. We might just have to suck it up, I guess, and attempt to go and find the next carpentry book before we do this, because it's going to take a long time without one to get to level six. <laughs> we, uh, we went up about 100 XP doing all that. We'd need to go up another 1,400. It's a... Uh, Maybe I'll do some stuff off camera. Try to get to level 6 that way. Then we'll do everything. I think that's probably a much better solution. Anyway. We need to dig a pond. Where should we dig a pond? Yes, over here. Move some bushes. There we go. That looks like a nice little spot. And we should be able to make a fish pond. Ooh. There we go. We've got a dirt hole. Fill it with cement. We need a bucket of cement... And a mason trowel. Make concrete. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. To make a bucket of cement, we need a masonry textbook. So we've just got a dirt hole in the ground now. Fine. Sturdy sticks. Let's make a couple of sturdy sticks. And all we can do is craft knitting needles. Now, that's a quick look because this might be the way to do it. How much do knitting needles get us? Oh my god, nine. Um, This is the way to do it. Look at it go. Okay, I mean, we just spent a long time doing knitting needles, but actually, <laughs> we just went up hundreds of XP. Um, we're going to make a load of sturdy sticks then. Let's get back inside. Um, we, <laughs> we can just make hundreds of knitting needles. Can we do anything with these knitting needles? Um, surprisingly, yes. We can make yarn. We can make uh, scarves and sweaters. This is this is cool. I mean, this, is, this isn't from Hydrocraft. This is from... Um, it's a saving grace mod. Well, some of it is, actually. We need knitting patterns. We could actually knit some uh, fancy sweaters. We need some yarn. And we'll make some more sturdy sticks while we're at it. We can make another 28. This is how we get to level 6. <laughs> we're just grinding, making knitting needles all day, every day. Oh, we're getting unhappy. We're tired. But we've only got 600-odd <laughs> left. We've got 80 knitting needles. I really hope we can burn these or something. Otherwise, it's just a massive waste of time. Stupid amount of knitting needles. I mean, if we want to get into knitting, we've got the tools now. <laughs> Fine, but I think I know what we're going to do in the morning. We've got a ton of stuff outside. Make another 100 odd knitting needles. <laughs> we'll be at level 6. So I'll see you in the morning. Oh. Oh, God. Um... But it might be a good a day as any to be whittling some knitting needles because it is disgusting. Oh, it's getting on our electronics. Oh, this isn't good. Right. We need to go grab kind of as many logs as we can then. Good. Right. There we go. Oh, quickly get inside before we get soaked. We're only moist so far. We do have the dryer. It's fine. Uh, saw. Wooden. There. Let's make some sturdy sticks. 28. Go. We put the oven on? I feel like putting the oven on. Let's warm up the place a little bit. Use some of the sawdust we've got. Right. We can make 112 knitting meat. <laughs> yes. Come on, then. Let's do this thing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, fast-forwarding time while Elle's just going through all of this is absolutely incredible. We're actually starving. Quickly eat something before we uh, get back into it. Got quite a lot of potatoes. Let's eat some potatoes. We've also got this venison. Let's just, let's just get some venison going. Got the fire on anyway. We've got 59 knitting needles. We're about halfway through. Oh, we're so close. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. We're done. We are up to level six. That was amazing. Can we add knitting needles as a fuel is the question. No. Oh, that's a bummer. We've got hundreds of knitting needles for no reason. It's fine. It's not that much of a waste. We've got... a. Uh, a good 140 odd knitting needles. <laughs> so, let's go to sleep. And then we can actually get our sports car out of here. Right, it's still disgusting outside. Uh, we need to get rid of some of these sturdy sticks. Ooh! Power's gone off. We've run out of gas. No, 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 no. No! We just disassemble that. Quickly disassemble what we need. Okay, right. So we got a few planks. We need some more, though. Where's the gas cans? There we go. 
Right, drain gasoline. Oh, right. Two things of gasoline. We've got a hole here that we can do. Uh, it's not quite symmetrical, is it? Balls. Try and assemble that one as well. Right, here we go. Uh, generator info. It's on 91. Let's grab the rest of that scrap. Fix it up. Let's add some fuel. 100%. 100% turn on. Hey, there we go. We had loads of venison there. I'm really hoping it hasn't gone off. It shouldn't have done. Please say it hasn't gone off. It's still fresh. That's good. Uh, we should probably cook this chicken, though, and all this other stuff, thinking about it. Cook all the stuff we haven't cooked yet. No, quickly. Oh, that was close. That fire. Nice. Right. A lot of cooked meat. All of it can go away. Chuck that away. We need to go grab another hinge from downstairs. We should have a few hinges lying around, I believe. Uh, we're probably going to need some more nails, thinking about it as well, if we're going to be doing some other bits as well. Door hinge there. Nice. And I think we are good. Here we go. So, bought the, we need 12 planks. Hmm, okay, we've actually got quite a lot of planks there still. From the last time we did this. Should be just what we need. Oh, perfect. There we go. Right, so. Door. Double door. There we go. Boom. Got it. Got a double door. Excellent stuff. We just need to fix this one bit here. And we're good. And to make that, we just need one more plank. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. But we're going to need to make stairs and stuff anyway. That's just chopped down some of these trees. Think of which, I probably should have just brought the saw buck down here. Doesn't matter. Wooden wall level two. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So now we just need to make some stairs going up here. There we go. That's pretty nice. And make some floors. Maybe like overlap by one. Right, saw these up. Saw these up. And that's all the planks we've got. You see what I mean? I'm going to just make it across the whole thing. I'll make maybe another set of stairs there. Good. Right. Well, finally, we can actually park our cars inside. Make it a little bit safer getting in and out. Or we can just park our cars outside in the actual car park itself. Oh, I like this car. This is nice. Here we go. I think let's go inside. We'll find something nice to eat. Uh, our weight is going up, though. But it won't be going up by much. I guess we'll probably only go up to 76 odd. Really, we need to get up back up to about 80. So I reckon we'll find some tinned food. We'll have a nice time. Settle down. Go from there. I'm pretty happy. Filled our main objectives. We've ground to level 6. We've done that. We've got our car set up. Got that ready for a nice maybe little trip. Maybe up, up the coast. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just drive up the coast maybe. Up around here. Have a nice little time. Yeah, because we haven't gone up that way and it might be quite nice to just to do a little trip in the sports car. Why not? Bit of fun. Anyway, right now, go to sleep. Right. One in the morning. <laughs> never a good time it is still disgusting outside um i think in that sense we should uh, enjoy some red wine screw it have a nice time with some red wine i'm wondering thinking about if we can make barbecue sauce i mean that would be very cool wouldn't it have a quick look no nothing that is a shame but ooh, we can create flames or fuel oh i completely forgot about that how much we get? 12. That's not much from a nearly full can of gas. But if uh, you remember way back when, we found a uh, certain chainsaw. Here it is. And do we have anything else? Flame for fuel. Here we go. That's a lot of gas. So what does this... Oh my god. How much did that use up? That used up a lot. <laughs> that used up a lot of fuel. I kind of want to test that. That's a lot of gas. <laughs> that looks amazing. It doesn't look like it does like any damage, though. It says no damage. Has basically no range. It'd be interesting to see what it actually does. <laughs> Without either of those. It's a bit like, hmm, what's the point? It's pretty early in the morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep now. I think Elle's going to have an attempt at talking to Nexus during this little outro. Pretend like we don't know what's going on. I think next episode, 
what we're going to do is we're going to venture up the coast in our sports car. We're going to just go for a drive, have a think, see what we can do. If we find anything to loot along the way, great. But I think what we're going to tell Nexus is that we're going on a trip to look for variants. But really, we just need a distraction. We need to think of something, see if we can find something that Nexus would like and that we can barter with for our lives. Audio log 14. I'm now back from my trip. I encountered a large number of variants, but no new ones. This may mean the variants I have found are all that has evolved so far. I think I can push further into the city still, which would verify this. I'll need some time to fully prepare myself. The roads towards the city centre are full of cars and wrecks. If I'm able to venture further to the centre, it will likely need to be on foot for a good chunk of the journey. I've started to sort the base and make inventory of what I've looted. There is a well-stocked armory and store full of medical supplies, tools, as well as metalworking and general survival stuff. Between this and food supplies, it should be able to last a handful of survivors for a good while if they carry on and expand the farm. Please tell my daughter and my husband that I love them dearly. Please, please make sure they get this message. It's been too long since I've heard their voices. I hope they're safe and well. L. Sullivan, signing off. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like with Sim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, David, Clint, David, Aaron, Mikhail, DeBlog, Rye, Len, Andrew, Alex, MBH, Nexus, Law, Middle, T, Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey, Soundcloud, King of Thorns, Plasco, Cordova, Jonathan Crane, and Skylar Burshwell. Thank you so much, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. It means the world to me. So, I really can't put into words how grateful I am to you guys. So, just thank you so much. Next episode, we're going to take our new sports car for a little spin, go up the coast, see what we can find, go for a little drive. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.